good morning everyone uh, in today's lecture we will continue from the previous one we have already created a signalized intersection in this video we will uh, introduce some parameters for data collection purpose so for that reason we have to come to the nodes select the nodes and write the nodes in order to collect the data for this signalized intersection we are giving a name to this section node 1 then we will press ok so come to the evaluation menu and we go to configurations Here, for the configuration of uh, evaluation, some uh, parameter need to be introduced. For example, which data is required for th for this purpose? For example, if you are interested on the notes, because we have provided notes, and then here select more. Here, uh, delay segment start for note results and note raw data evaluation. The start of the delay segment is considered 100 meters before the node. Uh, you can change this uh, value. And for the queue determination, for the beginning and end, uh, we have we have introduced the speed. For example, in this for the beginning, the speed is less than 5 kmph. And for the end case, 10 kmph, maximum clearance is 20 meter and maximum length is 500 meters. These values should be considered according to the specific or particular location. Then OK. We come to OK and then here we have result list by name of node results in here you can see a list of uh, attributes for example simulation runtime time interval movement from which direction to which direction q length q length maximum vehicle number passenger number level of service for all levels for all case and this is for the vehicle for delay this is percentage uh, person delay stop delay uh, we apply all these uh, changes we need to save the the project and now we can run the simulation here uh, you can uh, increase the simulation speed for example if we just move it a little bit you can see that the the speed is increasing The total uh, simulation uh, for this uh, case is 600 seconds and this is the direction for each case from eastbound to northbound so accordingly you can notify and the queue length is for each direction is, is noted suppose uh, if we consider this direction you can see the queue length uh, and second is about the 83 seconds and maximum queue length is about 99 seconds almost 100 so the vehicles that has passed through this direction and here you can see the level of service for this direction is F and for this direction is again F mean fail the rest are okay and here the total vehicle delay percent 
delay and stop delay in each direction is being uh, determined so to fix all these uh, we need to change some parameters and then adjust uh, the problem accordingly okay then uh, now we can browse here and uh, we have another import as a mm, data collection points if we are introducing data collection points for uh, some purpose for example we want to uh, determine the, the volume for each lane then we have to introduce this data collection points to that particular lane so we have selected the lane the option and then we can place it here for example we can see this is 2 and this is 3 for example this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 in these two lane i mean this in this two leg we have provided some data points so you can name it also you can provide a specific name or it is one two three by number then we have to come to the configuration before that measurement definition we go to data collection measurements and here we add some some points and uh, we we can consider for example for first case one two three one two three is considered for this uh, leg which is westbound you can provide name and also you can assign four five six seven in here and this is just one suppose if you are uh, adding some additional uh, data collection points then on the other directions you can provide So now we can assign north, north bound and south bound. From here we have to select 8, 9, 10 and 11. And here. So for each case we have defined the data collection measurements and we have named for each directions so we can say and come to the configuration and here result list data collection results now for if we run the simulation so you you cannot see any results so before that we have to assign from database come to the here we remove nodes but instead we will select data collection measure Then press OK. Now, if I save the project and run the simulation, you can see that for each bound, the data collection is being counted. So, in this data collection uh, points, we have considered the simulation running time. I mean, 
this is the time interval this is the simulation run this is the fifth simulation run for this project the data collection measurement for each uh, directions for example westbound eastbound northbound and southbound so with this uh, points we we have considered acceleration for all the the legs the distance the length of the vehicle and the vehicle number is there so vehicle number in person is both same and the Q delay for each leg this average speed for each direction and the arithmetic mean speed in occupancy rate is being considered in this data collection points so this is the this is about data collection using nodes and uh, data collection points in next lesson we will uh, discuss about vehicle travel time queue counters and other parameters for the data collection purpose thank you